What was the daily routine during the sampling process of the Ravenscroft 220 Grand Piano? I think to understand the daily routine that we went through for the sampling project, it's important to understand the, the overall scope of, of the project. So, you know, to begin with, there's moving the piano to Austria. Uh, that's a pretty big deal unto itself. And then once the piano is there, the piano has to be prepped, uh, action regulation, voicing, tuning. But then all the microphones have to be selected, positioned, tested. And, um, you know, that process in and of itself can take weeks because they have to deal with phasing issues, uh, mic placement. And the most important criteria here is that you select mics and get them in the right place, have the piano in the right place in the room so that when the piano is recorded, it sounds exactly like the piano. And I can tell you from experience that this is really difficult to do. Uh, and by experience, I simply mean by, you know, having done a lot of recordings at different uh, recording studios across the United States. And um, it's very rare that when a piano is recorded that it sounds exactly like itself. Uh, and this has a lot to do, again, with the room acoustics, uh, the microphones, the equipment. But I would say as important, if not more important, is the, the engineer and the engineering staff. So we were very fortunate in Austria because Gerhard and, and Bjorn are just amazing engineers. And the setup process went very quickly and very smoothly. On a daily basis now, you have to realize that a piano has 88 notes. So to sample the piano, you want to sample everything that that piano can do. And to do this means uh, literally recording every single note at uh, 12 or more velocity levels, which are volume levels. And not only that, but pianos have uh, soft pedals. They have a, a pedal that shifts the action over so that uh, it's only hitting two things instead of three. So that's a whole nother set of recordings just for the soft pedal. Then you have recording with the damper pedal and half damper pedal and sostenuto pedal. So needless to say, just to record the piano, I think it took about 18 weeks. So the 18 weeks on a daily basis were, you know, waking up in the morning in this uh, beautiful fairyland of Austria, surrounded by the Austrian Alps. Oh my God, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, you wake up with the windows open and the and the birds chirping and, uh, you know, go across the street. I was literally living right across the street from the recording studio. I'd go over and meet Gerhard and Bjorn. We'd have a nice cup of uh, European espresso. Man, that stuff is so good. And then I would, uh, we'd start the day with me tuning the piano. So again, if you can imagine we're tuning and recording uh, Middle C on a Monday, let's say that we listen to the recordings and we decide a week from then that we have to re-record that middle C. Well, that middle C has to be at exactly the same pitch or frequency that it was when we initially recorded it. So um, obviously I want this piano to be represented on a recording that's going to be around probably forever uh, to be in super tune. So every day we would start by tuning the piano. And then as the guys are recording throughout the day, uh, anytime there's a break, I would go in and, um, you know, check the tuning and clean up the unisons and that kind of thing.